He made it up around the corner. Yep, he went up far back. He's on the truck. Behind us, Lancer! She got me. There's two. Here she comes. What is going on everyone? Griffin here coming at you with some Dima gameplay and today we're going to be talking about no more dropped utility in Rogue Company. So let's head over and check it out. So this was something that was brought to my attention this past Thursday on stream and Ollie Gamer came in hot and he was like, look man, I think there's something going on in the game. Uh, people aren't dropping utility anymore. So there's no more grenades, there's no more Simtex being dropped, there's no more stems, there's no more trip mines, nothing. Nothing's being dropped. And uh, as I started experiencing that that stream and then going back and watching that stream, I did notice, and I'm hoping to put some footage under this, so hopefully there will be some footage there, but I started to notice that even if you have utility in your kit, even if you've purchased utility, if you die before you use that utility, then you don't drop it anymore. And same goes for if you kill an enemy that still has utility, then they don't drop it anymore. Now, there's a couple of facets of this that I want to cover. The first facet of this is, I don't mind this change. And there's, there's a couple of reasons why I really don't mind this change. I feel like utility spam and overabundance of utility has been a major, major problem in Rogue Company for a very long time now. It was such a problem that Runway got banned in the first LAN, the official, well, not... In the, in the recent Spring Land series, okay? And with her, because she just has too much utility. She has, she gives players too much access to utility, which makes her and then other specific rogues that pair with her very well, very dangerous and very util heavy. And I know that there's a mechanic in the game to try to deny utility, and that is trophy systems. But the, the rogues that have access to the trophy systems are not top tier picks for competitive gameplay according to competitors i guess i don't really see that many people running rogues that actually have access to uh, aps systems which i don't understand like anvil's a great rogue he has access to it max a great rogue he has access to it dahlia is like the only person that i've noticed that actually has access to it that people are like hey we should probably pick her but anyway the overabundance of utility, the fact that you're constantly getting grenaded, the fact that you can smoke off a point completely with one or two select rogues, and then you can rush in there real quick, especially if you lock in a fixer on uh, the pushing team, on the attacking team. You can run in on that side, and you can just plant the bomb, and you can spread out in that area because you're able to just blanket the area in smoke. You can flash the team out like crazy. You can just continuously throw flashbangs if you pick up select rogues and actually pair them with runway, and you can just just full-on flash the enemy team out where they can't respond to the situation while it's happening. They recently increased the price of utility, and that's okay. I thought that that was a decent change. I felt like utility needed to have a complete overhaul. They needed to have a more of a dynamic um, fall-off range with the utility that actually made it make more sense and made it a little bit more strategic in using, but they opted to go with a economy adjustment with it, and it seems like it's done enough to the gadgets in the game, because you don't see as many grenades, you don't see as many Simtex. There's certain rogues that you're going to always see Simtex or grenades or whatever on, but as far as overall, you just don't see as much utility in general. This is also taking away some of that utility spam. Whenever you get the advantage on someone, whether you're attacking or defending, and you down them and they have a Simtex or they have a stem or they have incendiary grenades, you're inevitably going to pick that up and use that to your advantage, which is going to add to that utility spam, of course, like I said before. So overall, I don't think that this is a terrible change. What I do think is terrible about this is, A, the fact that 
There's no mention of this anywhere. There's no patch notes. There, there's no blog post. There, there's no Reddit post. There's no tweet. There's nothing. There's no information about this whatsoever. So you're making fundamental changes to the game that have been in the game for as long as I can remember. These core fundamental changes, and you're just not telling anybody about it. Again, we just went over this with Talon. You're making core fundamental changes to the rogues, and you're just not telling anybody about it. Now we have a core fundamental change to everyone in the game, a blanket change all across the board that you're just not telling anyone about it. When are the developers going to stop putting secret or hidden changes into the game? And if this is unintentional, if this is a bug, then why is it not being addressed? Why are the developers not coming out and saying, hey guys, we screwed up, we're sorry, and in, in a hot fix or in the next update, then the utility drops are going to be added back into the game. Our bad, we're sorry about it, you know, forgive us or whatever, I don't know. So you have that facet of it. Then you also have the facet of it where this really has an indirect nerf on a lot of the rogues in the game, if you think about it. So you have rogues like... Talon, for example. So Talon got that huge nerf where he can't yoink the bomb anymore. He can't pull the bomb with the mag gloves anymore. One of the big things about Talon also was the fact that he could pull not only weapons, but also gadgets that were laying on the ground. So if you're behind cover and you have people in front of you and you down someone and you get the full kill on them and they have flashbangs, they have smoke grenades, they have Simtex incendiaries, you could actually pull that to you and it would actually help you out and give you a little bit more survivability. Can't do that anymore. Also, Dima. Dima, whenever he is using an explosive gadget, reveals the enemy. So that goes for any type of explosive grenades, of course, EMPs, things like that. That is a huge, huge nerf to Dima because the ability to throw EMPs and get reveals and also deny some abilities and things like that. To be able to throw the EMP or be able to throw the frag grenades and be able to do the same thing. And then also pick grenades up off of other people with resupply, with everything else in his kit. That allows for way, way more viability as far as Dima and his passive ability. Now, I don't know if this is a change in response to the fact that you have several rogues now that have resupply, restock, whatever it's called. There's like three different perks that fundamentally does the same thing on different levels. So where you down someone, it drops a box, you run over the box, it gives you all your utility back. I don't know if they're making this change because that exists on more rogues in the game, because I believe originally this only existed, if I remember correctly, on Kestrel, and then they gave it to Dima, and I think that there was one other character that had it. Maybe it was Glimpse or a Seeker. I can't remember exactly who had it. It might have been Seeker, too. But they gave this perk to those characters as well, and they were running this. Now more characters have access to this. So it makes sense if they're going to make the change because, hey, utility spam is crazy. But there's also perks at certain rogues. So if you want to pick utility up off of people, then play a rogue that has that perk so that you can actually use that to pick up utility. Makes sense. Biggest problem. Why is this information not conveyed to the community? I, I'm, you know, with the amount of problems that the game's been having recently, especially for it coming out of full release, and then them doing these these hidden changes to rogues, to fundamental gameplay elements and things like that, it really makes me question exactly what the developers are doing over there. It makes me question what direction they're trying to push the game into and like what their final vision. This should be the final vision of the game. We shouldn't be getting hidden nerfs like this. We shouldn't be getting hidden changes into the game like this. If this is a change, it should be known to everybody so that you can prepare for it. I know that if I'm playing against a Lancer, nine times out of ten, she's going to have a Simtex grenade. If she doesn't throw it, and I get the advantage, and I down her, and then I go out of my way to try to pick up the Simtex off of her body that no longer exists there, I'm going to be upset. I'm going to be absolutely livid because of this. But be sure to let me know what you think in the comments down below. Have you noticed this change? Are you... What do you think about this change overall? I know that this is a huge change. I know this is something that's a little bit different. There's positives to this. There's negatives to this. But more importantly, they didn't convey any of this information. Be sure to let me know what you think. Also, be sure to check the description for links to Facebook, Discord, and Twitter. Those are the places to contact me. And if you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel.
If you have subscribed to the channel, then consider hitting that join button down below to become one of the 256 crew members. Also, on Thursdays from 8 until 11 p.m. and Sundays from 10 a.m. until we get tired, I will be streaming here on YouTube. So if you're interested and available, please feel free to stop by and say hello. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, damn it. Come on, motherfucker. One's up there. Two then. Lancer. Oh, my gun fucking stopped shooting. No one coming right now on the steps. Mm. She's up there. She's jumping down. You fucking. He's in mid. Give me your wallet. He's resin. No, that's me. I can fight. <laughs> Back in our spawn. Plant. We're gonna have the bomb. I'm the bomb. Do you see him? See it oh, I see him. Shoot. Yeah, right in front of me. He's on the little box. Enemy is eliminated. I think that that's gonna be that lancer on that far side. Yep. Yep. You got me, but I fucking damn it. There's two here. Fuck. Well, hey, Dallas is coming to you, and the other two are just sitting on the bomb. <laughs> one on the thing on the on the little cart i'm revealed i got one over here too he goddamn downed herself he fucking downed herself Lance was on party box. Yep. She's in the middle. I just saw her. Alright, I'm going to A. Her mark. Utility out. She just, she's going behind us. He got me. Chalk's on the fucking tree headed to you now. Help me out. It's over. What? I was hitting her. I was getting hit markers. No fucking health went down. Got six hit markers on that bitch, and she lost no health. Six fifty.